I was meant to hold a CS47A info session on Friday, but I was pulled away. So instead, I'll make a video info session. Please post any questions you have on the Piazza thread that's associated with this video in the CS61A Piazza. 47A is an alternative for experienced programmers who have seen most of the content in CS61A before. You must have already seen not only how to write basic programs, but also higher order functions, recursion, recursive data structures, trees, and object systems. If you've seen all this before and you think you're really strong in recursion already, then taking CS61A might be a bad use of your time, and instead you could skip forward to a more advanced course. Taking 47A means that you fulfill all of the requirements for 61A, including requirements for degree programs like majors and minors, and prerequisites for future classes. So it's really completely equivalent, except it's a one-unit self-paced course that really only covers the last unit of CS61A, which is mostly content that no one has seen before. Now, you might have seen that too, in which case you just go through it again and it won't take you very long. Taking 47A means that throughout the course of the semester, you complete four homeworks and a project, which are just the later homeworks and project from CS61A. I've linked them all here on this enrollment request form. First, you should really carefully consider whether it's a good idea to skip out of CS61A. Having programmed for many years is not a good reason. You should also have seen this particular material and feel very comfortable with it. Otherwise, you could get into trouble as you move on. So I've put together a short enrollment request form where I ask you to describe your prior programming experience and coursework, and then answer a few questions. One's about higher order functions, one's about recursion, and one's about trees. Go ahead and spend some time trying to solve these problems. None of them are trivial, but they're the kinds of problems that we work on in CS61A, the kinds of problems that take a lot of practice to get good at, and the kinds of problems that you would get better at if you stuck it out and took CS61A instead of the 47A alternative. So if you read these problems, and you think you can make good progress on them or solve them on your own, then I think you're a good candidate for 47A. So here's the three problems. You can read through them, ask questions on Piazza if you want. And then I would like you to describe what you did to solve them. Now, if you asked your older sibling to solve them for you, that's a terrible reason to take 47A. It's not a good idea to take this course and then try to get ahead. It's much better just to learn the material really well and then uh, take the courses at the pace that everyone else is taking them at. Uh, if you had to look up some stuff on Wikipedia or remember how some programming language worked, that's totally fine, but I'd like you to be honest about what you did to solve these problems. And if you get stuck and you want to talk over them with somebody else or read Piazza posts or whatever, that's fine too. I would not recommend going to any length to solve these problems, because this is not a test. This is a self-assessment for you to help figure out whether it really makes sense to take 47A or not. Assuming you do enroll, here's how it will work. You'll send me uh, your completed homeworks 9, 10, 12, 13, and the scheme project at whatever schedule you want, as long as you're done by the end of the semester. And then uh, I'll take a look at your work. I'll schedule a time to take a one hour final exam, which covers this content. In particular, it will cover the scheme programming language, how your interpreter that interprets scheme works, and the SQL programming language subset that we focus on in CS61A. You take that hour exam, you will get a grade. It's only possible to take this one unit course for a grade. That grade will not count in uh, applying to the CS major if you're in the College of Letters and Sciences, uh, but it will be on your transcript. I think that's all the information I have to share with you at this time. Uh, feel free to ask questions on Piazza and I'll get back to you.